Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is So Much Sewing. So Much Sewing is a vlog all about sewing. It's all about my sewing adventures. Mostly it's my sewing adventures, sometimes for other people, but generally it's all about me. But this week is a little bit different because I'm here as part of the Sewing Vloggers Tour of the Sew Yellow for Endo 2024 Challenge that's run by Jess from Sew What If I Sew. This is the fourth year Jess has been running this challenge and it's in conjunction with, well there's a global awareness month of March. All around the world people are bringing awareness to endometriosis during the month of March. I encourage you to go to Jess from So What If I Sew's YouTube channel. Jess has got a lot of amazing information about endometriosis, how long it takes generally for women to be diagnosed, which apparently is about eight years, which seems like a long time to me, considering that you can suffer debilitating pain. Jess tells her own story about how she could barely walk some days because she was in so much pain. You know what us women are like, we just get on with it, don't we? We don't make a song and dance about these things, we just get on with it. And often our health issues are kind of pushed under the table. I mean, this is not regarding endometriosis, but I know my own self when I started suffering from menopause symptoms and I was at work and I would make the odd mistake or I would forget things. Um, I started getting really anxious and fearful. And I remember one day saying to my boss after I had made a silly mistake, I was just so upset because I'd been so anxious and, you know, your mood has changed while you're going through menopause and so I was extremely anxious and I looked at him and I said I'm so sorry I think I'm suffering from menopause and and he said I don't need to know that and I said well you probably do need to know that actually because you're surrounded by women of a certain age at work and at home. My point here is that I know from personal experience that you know these things are not talked about and so Good on Jess, amazing for her to bring so much awareness to the subject in the way that she is able to do. She has her YouTube and her Instagram platforms and she has decided to use those to raise awareness for endometriosis and I say good on her. Go and have a look at everything she has to say about it because it's really worthwhile. So the way you enter this challenge is you make something yellow. Jess is not fussy about what kind of yellow it is, how much yellow. She probably realizes that yellow is not for everybody, yellow is not for me. But so she says make anything yellow and it could be anything. It doesn't even need to be for a person. You could just sew anything yellow or yellowish with yellow spots, with yellow accents, vaguely yellow, orangey, anything gold she doesn't mind so anything yellowish during the month of march post it to her instagram hashtag which i'll put down here tag her and you post it on the 31st of march and you also need to donate one pound to the so yellow for endo give a little page or just giving page sorry it's the So Yellow for Endo 24 Just Giving page, which I'll put the link down here and I'll put it in the description box below. So this is a British fundraising page. There's no getting around that, but it's only a pound. You need to donate to this website so that Jess can track your entry on her Instagram page. I don't know the ins and outs of it, but she's very clear that that needs to happen. The um, just giving donation of one pound needs to happen so that she can match up your entry on her Instagram page. Like I say, I don't know how that works, but I'm sure it's a thing. So they are all the things you need to do. Make something yellow, post it to her Instagram page on the 31st of March, tag her, donate one pound. Simple. This year there are a whole bunch of amazing prizes as usual. There's prizes from Tammy Handmade, The Speaky Seamstress, Sew Over It, Sew Me Sunshine, Stash Hub, Singer, Hey Sew Sister, 
my handmade wardrobe style falcon first for fabrics so and there are more there are more prizes some of these prizes may not be available to viewers in the southern hemisphere like new zealand or australia um, but a lot of them will be you know there'll be pdf patterns like style falcon and tammy handmade so over it that sort of thing so there will be prizes available for us way down in the southern hemisphere so um i would encourage you to participate even if you think that it's not likely that you're going to win a prize you never know and it might be a prize you know a prize that you are actually able to claim but it's really not all about the prizes it's all about spreading the word about endometriosis so i went looking for yellow or yellowish items in my stash and unsurprisingly there's not a lot because i don't think yellow is my color but surprisingly there was more than i thought so i do have a few yellow fabrics that i can show you this one first of all is a little piece of furnishing fabric that i purchased ages ago i was going to make a cushion out of it have i done that yet no clearly not because it's still a piece of fabric but um yeah i think that would be a very nice cushion either double-sided cushion or uh i could make two cushions put this on one side and something else on the other side so that is one option there for my so yellow for endo and I do have this cotton jersey, which is very yellow. And I had purchased this ages and ages ago. I was going to make something for my granddaughter. Never have got around to it. But, you know, this could well be the month that I do that. This is another fabric I purchased to make something for my granddaughter. And look, it's got yellow splotches in it. So I'm sure Jess would be happy with that. This actually feels actually really nice and snuggly for winter. It's not super heavy thick. But it feels like quite a nice it's almost a little brushed texture on the um, exterior so that is an option here's another piece of fabric with yellow in it it is a fleece lined sweat shooting it really doesn't have any stretch and actually to be frank it feels nasty <laughs> i don't think there's any uh natural fiber in there at all i'm i will give it a wash to see how it washes up uh, but it's very 80s retro, isn't it? Um, but, you know, oh, actually that could be a dressing gown, couldn't it? That might be a nice dressing gown. Just maybe keep away from the fire. I have this orange jersey. It's quite textured. So, again, this always was intended for my granddaughter. Um, so it looks like I'm going to be making something for my granddaughter for So Yellow for Endo. <laughs> Although, I do have this fabric here with some yellow in it. I mean, I don't generally go for anything with a white background for myself, so I'm not really sure why I bought that. Uh, not sure that I can see myself make anything out of that, but it's got yellow in it. And here's a piece of fabric you may recognize if you've watched my channel before. <laughs> this is my crazy camo with the gold this painted on gold effect which you know it kind it's yellowish Jess did say she's not fussy about the color that you use it can be gold and the final piece of fabric that I have that is yellowish is my Gabby dress that did not work out it's got these you know the sort of a bronzy yellowy yellowy goldy yellowish bursts on it I do have a plan for this this is going to be lining fabric for a jacket that I do have in mind so is it too much of a stretch if the yellow part of your make is lining on the inside of a jacket so it really seems like I'll be making something for my granddaughter for this challenge which is perfectly fine I need to be doing sewing for her anyway I've hardly made her anything in the last few months and I feel very, very guilty about it. Um, and all these fabrics uh, were purchased uh, with her in mind. So, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So I do have a bunch of patterns in mind. Um, and the first one is the Circle Cardi by Re Rebecca Page. I have got this printed out. 
Um, have I stuck it together? I'm not sure if I've stuck, stuck it together, but I've definitely got it printed out and have had for ages. So actually, I hope the size is right now <laughs> because that might have been printed out a year ago. So hopefully I printed out all the sizes and not just the size I thought I needed at the time. I actually had intended all along to make it out of this, which is a very bright color, but I think um, that would be lovely, you know, in, in, you know, for the summer months. Another pattern I thought of making for Lisa is the Raglan, the Kids Raglan Top by Ellie and Mac. Um, I think this is a really great pattern, really versatile. I mean, I could make it as PJs or as outerwear. Um, you know, I could color block. If I made a wintry t-shirt, I could make a t-shirt out of any one of these colors and put this on the sleeve. I think that would be quite nice and um, around the neck bands. I mean, you could even do that quite bright, but she likes her bright yellowy and orangey colors, which is why I bought these fabrics in the first place. Um, or, I mean, that could be a really lovely, snuggly um, winter nighty, couldn't it? Extend the raglan sleeve t-shirt down further into a nighty. Sorry, that was my tablet giving me a notification. So that is actually, I'm really liking that idea. I think that would be awesome as a nighty because as I say, it does feel very snugly. And another Alien Mac pattern that I have in my stash that I've been meaning to make up for ages is the Sweetie Pie tunic. Um, you know, I think that could be quite nice in the Sweetie Pie tunic. I would make it long sleeve for our winter. Maybe I would shorten it so it's more of a top or maybe actually it would be nice as a dress. Um, again, I could put different colored sleeves on it if I wanted to. There's all those colors in there. That's actually... <laughs> coming up a lot more bright on the camera than it is in real life, but it's still pretty bright. So I think that Sweetie Pie would be really nice um, for her. And the last pattern that I had in mind to make up for Lisa using one of these yellowy fabrics is the Everyday Play Dress by Love Notions. Um, I think that is, you know, I mean, it's just such an easy dress for a little girl to throw on, isn't it? You could make that, again, you could just turn that into a peplum top so that she could wear it with a pair of jeans. She does wear a uniform to school, so she doesn't have a huge amount of need for out-of-school clothing. So maybe, maybe again, um, I could turn that into a nightdress. Actually, that would be nice as a nightdress too, wouldn't it? So anyway, they're just a few options I have in mind for sewing up something for Sew Yellow for Endo. I encourage you to have a look at all the other sewing vloggers who are making vlogs all about Sew Yellow for Endo. There's someone on every day. Um, there's Sewn on the Tine, Stitch Hem Sew. Um, there is Michelle Sews Again, the Yorkshire Sew Girl. Julie sews, sorry Julie, Julie sews her own clothes, that is a mouthful, one Lisa show, so all the people that you probably watch anyway, so go and check out their vlogs, get behind So Yellow for Endo, start a conversation in your life with people who you work with, who you live with, who you socialize with, start that conversation, help raise the awareness for endometriosis, pay your pound, make your item, post your item, tag Jess, you're into win. Thanks for watching. See ya.